Well, guys, the feedback for the previous number was marginally better. And the good news is the boss has been in touch and it's almost time for our first post. Uh, ignore that, that was just a coincidence. We'll be getting a phone call shortly. Sorry. Hello. Yes, this is Andy speaking. Um, Dad, can I call you back? Yeah, sorry, we're waiting for a really important phone call. Uh, yeah, I'll fed the cat. Okay, love you, bye. What did they say? Hello? Oh, exotic. Okay, <laughs> yeah, I'll tell them. Okay, love you, bye. For our first rhyming mission, we're going to Australia! Oh, oh, my God. oh, oh how exciting! <laughs> What's Australia? It's a place in the Southern Hemisphere, Dickie. It's on the other side of the world. Well, that's a rather long way to go to collect rhymes. Uh, that's a bad attitude to have. There's way more rhymes in Australia. How are there more rhymes in Australia? Because it's bigger. So there must be. Good point. Mate. How are we going to get there? Don't worry. We'll get to that in a minute. Who are you just talking to? Look, hang on. If Australia's on the other side of the world, doesn't that mean we'll be upside down? No, Dickie, that's actually quite a common misconception. Everything will be the right way up. But how? Ash, could you do the honours? Gravity is a force that objects have on other objects. That's why when you're standing on the Earth, Gravity is keeping you on the ground. Now, gravity brings you towards the centre of an object. So, for the Earth, which is shaped like a ball, gravity is pulling you towards the centre on every point of its surface. That means that when you're standing on the Earth, the ground is always below you and the sky is always above you. That is fascinating. Is the world inflatable? Uh, no. Well, I for one am rather excited, and on that note, I think I can feel a song coming along. Oh, I see who you are talking to now! Oh look! It's a cat! That's not a cat, it's a kangaroo! Oh look! It's a baseball bat! That's not a bat, it's a didgeridoo! Oh look! It's a massive slug! That's not a slug, it's clearly a snake! Oh look! It's a purple bat! That's not a bug, it's a barbecued steak. Hey, but you know what this means? We've just found some more great rhymes. High, High five. five! Cat, bat, kangaroo, didgeridoo. Slug, bug, snake, steak. Great! We're going to Australia, what might we find? We're going to Australia to get some rhymes. We're going to Australia, you can come too. We're going to Australia. Hey look, it's a badger up a tree! I think that is a koala bear. Oh look, some beach debris! I think that might just be a deck chair. Oh look, some luncheon meat! Um, that's an octopus. Hey look, it's a fish with feet! No, that's a platypus. Hey, but you know what this means? We've, We've just found, found some more great rhymes! High five! Badger up a tree, beach debris, koala bear, deck chair, luncheon meat, fish with feet, octopus, platypus. We're going to Australia, what might we find? We're going to Australia to get some rhymes. We're going to Australia, you can come too. We're going to Australia, woo dee woo When are we going? I can't wait. Well, I need to say good day, mate. What's the weather like? Will it rain? How do we get there by car or train? We're going quite soon. You'll say hello. The weather could be hot or cold, you know. You'll get there on a really big plane. You can't get to Australia by train. We're going to Australia. What might we find? Woo! We're going to Australia to get some rhymes. We're going to Australia. You can come too. We're going to Australia. Australia, what might we find? So We're far going away. to Australia to get some rhymes. We're going to Australia, you can come too. We're going to
to Australia. Thanks for watching. To watch another episode, click the link here. Or to watch some behind the scenes footage, click the link here. Now, watch me totally boss this bottle cap challenge. You did it!